Hello everyone. So I usually start here in the Christmas aisle, but it's quite busy. So what I think I'll do is I'll circle around through the store and then come back this way. So there are some new items. You can see the floral. These are kind of a velvety look. These are going to sell really fast as soon as anyone sees them. But yeah, we'll come back just because there are a ton of people here. As soon as these red buffalo plaid dish drying mats hit the floor, they sell pretty, pretty quick. By the time I come in for another visit, these will be all gone. Let's go down this aisle here. Oh, these are actually really smooth. They don't feel like that rough wood. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. These will sell really fast. Um, they're just putting out more stuff. This store keeps getting new box shipments and they are trying to put them out as soon as possible. Look, there's this is actually like a tin, not a plastic and the cups are coming out all right i'm back over where the ornaments and things are so i bought the little snowman because i think he's really cute just to share some of the solar lights i don't know what you guys are doing with them but maybe some people are attaching them to outdoor garland especially these lights because they look like the nostalgic old school lights they have some wine bottle baggies here and the signs are selling very fast. So if you like something, buy it because the next time you come in, it will be gone. And there's the plastic candy canes as, long, as well as these. The nutcrackers sell really quick and the little stocking stuffers, uh, stocking holders, these are pretty sturdy. So they seem to go fast as well. I think I've shared this before, but they do have the indents, so if you want to repaint them and such. Clear deer ornaments we've gone through a few times. I've shared with you the pink ones. I've hauled them. I've, If you want to see a haul in detail and how I'm using them to decorate my Christmas tree, I've made some clusters, which has been so fun. I'm obsessed with the look. And then you have these little ballerinas. I think they were out last year, the iridescent ballerinas. These are really popular item this year. They're selling so fast. If you're making cookies or gift baskets, they come in handy. The tins that were fully stocked here are pretty much, you know, not like they were at one point fully stocked. Aren't these cute? You can use them as an ornament on a tree. These packages sell very fast. They're kind of got like a frosted look, and then they have the picks. Also, these picks sell pretty quick. Just wanted to share, they have the flocking on them. Some have little peppermint balls. Here I am dropping things like usual. Oh, these are cute with the poinsettia. poinsettia. And then again, a ton of like craft material, entertaining kids yourself. They have a really nice selection and they keep stocking them so you know if you want the little felts and stuff and you do like these definitely grab them but some stuff they keep restocking these are cute too you can use them as decorations the wood will sell once it's kind of out it sells and then it's hard to kind of find it again Someone was asking specifically for children's books. I can't remember. I think it was Liz. If it was you, well, this one's definitely not a kid's book, but here's something. Um, it's a mess in here, so it's hard to film when they're not on display. It looks like they have some more. Okay, so these ones I've shared with you, I think, in a different story. I think your age was three to six, so let's see if there's some more hardcover or, yeah board book type things I think see these are a little bit for a younger group although for a baby this is really fun and cute because it has pop-ups and my kids loved the little tags and pop-ups I don't know if anyone else's do or did this one's a little more on the prayer side anyways it looks like they have a ton of things here oh chicken soup for the soul little stories for kids and teens 
Anyways, that's about all I can kind of see here. Hope that helps. Has anyone spotted the really striped peppermint? I call them peppermint, red and white. These ones kind of have like a pink hue. Ah, they're almost like this, but they're actually red and white. Thank you to all of those who commented on my previous shop with me that you enjoy the craft aisle as much as I do. I'm so happy to hear that because this is my favorite aisle. And there's nothing really new here today. Whenever I see something new, I immediately show it to you. But there are beads and just your everyday things. I think most of the new craft stuff is actually over. Well, these are kind of newer in the last couple weeks. And the little boxes, these little crates are so cute. If you like making DIY cards, these are amazing packages. They come with the envelope and already the card, the blank card. So it's just wonderful. And you can find stickers and all sorts of things here. If you wanna make your own birthday cards and get well cards, there's a ton of supplies here. For those who are sending out any mail, these are a great buy, and there's even silver in the back. It looks like it must have been delivery day because the carts just keep coming out. Some of you have been asking to see the wall stickers. There's nothing really new here. I always like checking out the candle area. There's some new votive holders, so if you're doing you know, anything for Christmas that needs candles and they also have the small candles and the wax melts here has anyone tried the wax melts and are you happy with them one of the aisles i neglect to check out it like thoroughly would be the tool section here some of you have been suggesting some things so i'm just looking and if there's anything that you do recommend or that is a must-have i know that the these items here, I talk to you guys about the armor all, all the time because these little bottles are $4.99 plus other places and they even have the small packages. This is a random end cap with just some things for crafting. There's These are plastic actually, they're not glass. Look, these are new. I just spotted these at a different store. You have to be careful because the inner part is really sharp where the cutout is. These cups are selling so fast. If you see them and you want them, I'm not sure what was up top, but these are going so, so quick. These are the bouillon cups. Some of you were recommending it, the stock. There's beef and chicken or vegetable. And then a ton of El Paso. Lots of seasoning, which is awesome. What's your favorite item to purchase in the food aisle? Oh, they have Katie here. Chef Boyardee. Oh, I actually need some corn. They're going to grab this can. And then the lasagna shells, I've had really good luck with them. They always turn out really great. They have the old El Paso shells here still noodles soups and olives this is the like normal baking aisle but then they have another setup for christmas 
I actually am going to grab some S cookies because I love these. I can eat a whole pack, it's so bad. These are all the Christmas stickers and they're available just above the cards, but look how cute. If you're making kids Christmas cards or sending some happy mail on the outside of an envelope, you can always add a little sticker. I think it always looks sweet. They have the craft style, they have the clear ones. These ones are traditional, so cute. And then they have lots of Christmas cards. These are awesome because you have 12 cards and envelopes. Some of them have 14. This box here has 14, as you can see. And then some have the 12. There's the truck, which is really popular. These will go really fast. As soon as they hit the shelf, they pretty much go. But yeah, there's some really pretty ones here. I hope that you like some of the patterns. Which one's your favorite pattern? Is anyone else disappointed in the options for their, I guess, napkins and paper plates this year? It looks like they're rebranding some things, so the sleeping mask and then look, the bath crystals are now in the rectangle shaped instead of the cylinder or round ones. Kind of where you find the band-aids medicinal stuff, take a look here because they've had some new things come out lately. Like this pill organizer is fairly new, which is great for organization for craft supplies as well. So there are some new soaps that are selling really fast and you will sometimes spot soft soap as well. Just to this one here, which is actually the brand because then they have their, their spa soap, which is an off brand and Yardley, they have a couple new options. Some new Christmas things. Here's some coloring books or coloring activity pad activity book sorry it's cute also wanted to share with you the mugs i know some of you love their mugs there are these mugs here and then there are plates that even correspond with the mugs there was some really cute ones at the beginning of the season with the little red truck prints and when I found it, I immediately shared it with you guys, but I think those are all sold out. And then they have different prints. They have solid and little. Lately, Dollar Tree's been carrying so many e.l.f. products. So I'm always on the lookout for those. And I really want to share them as soon as they put something new out. They have, well, here's like new Wet n Wild mascara, I think eyeshadow palettes but yeah they have the elf stuff there's a whole bunch of boxes here oh by the way i was hoping to get some more of these i think for my inking and blending so i think the thicker ones are better for that no elf i have not seen the elf tweezers in forever i regret not buying more i can't reach the nails today sorry The gum line is actually really great and a good little stocking stuffer. And then there's some travel toothbrushes as well. See these here? These would be a nice little stocking stuffer. I 
am not familiar with this brand. It's kids toothpaste, it's fluoride free. However, if anyone has any insight, maybe you can let us know down below. This is the information. They do have the Tom's toothpaste here too, and that's a pretty expensive line. So if you wanted to give it a try, they have these here. This Dollar Tree, well, most Dollar Trees, they have like different setups. There's end caps of makeup, there's islands, and then there's the makeup aisle. So if you're looking for things, definitely check the different areas because see, there are always items kind of hiding amongst these little treasures. This is an elf lipstick. And then I know they have another section where there's like foundation, which I'll walk over there soon and film that for you as well. This island is actually bare. I'll go somewhere else. So this is the end, like the side of an end cap. And you can see here that there's the foundation and brushes. I'm really trying so hard this year not to buy too much wrapping paper, but it's hard to pass up some of the cute prints. So I'm just gonna share some with you that I see here. They have Mickey, they have a lot of Disney. Like this one here has a bunch of Disney characters. So even if you needed to cut these out for crafts, I think that would be pretty neat. But they have some beautiful paper. Beautiful paper. A hallmark paper here. Oh, check this one out. It's a Blue's Clues and the little shark. Oh my gosh, such cute prints. Tell me, tell me, do you guys have access or do you have these in your store? I love the linen placemats. I actually should buy some to do some DIYs with, but these plates, aren't they beautiful? Do you have these in your store? And if you do, look, there's different one. There's the one with the rim on the top and then the white rim. See, so pretty. And if you do have them, have you bought them? I think I, I'm going to grab some dessert plates because they're just so gorgeous. I mentioned that there was the regular baking aisle and then there's always a little bit of a Christmas setup here. So you'll see this, the Christmas sprinkles and Christmas cutting, like the little shape cutters, cookie cutters, <laughs> can't even think. It looks like the hot item of the day or yeah, hot item of the day here are the stuffies cute ones oh this one reminds me of the nutcracker like the mouse king cute i think it was last week or the week before i shared some amazing gift card holders there were little gnome prints and the black and white but they're all gone see here some of the black and white plaid and the red but all the gnome ones are gone they were really cute oh and they have some really nice boxes as well here gift bags but the gift bags are plastic i think has anyone tried these are they good quality they look cute the print is pretty
I am so curious, what do you gift in these boxes? I think they're just so cute, but I can't think. I just, I'm like, oh, they're so beautiful. Do you just put them on display in your home? Are you gifting something inside of them? So most of the stores I visit do have the two prints for Christmas. Which one is your favorite? Do you like the snowflake print or do you like the red and green print? Oh, and here are some more of those glasses. They will go fast. And the canisters as well seem to be selling pretty quick. They're great for cookies. So I'm back over here trying to figure out how I can use some of these very cute boxes. These ones, okay, I can put a gift card in them. I like the way they open up, but I don't know what to put in the larger ones. These ones too, you can put jewelry or gift card, but these, what do we put in them? They're just so cute. This gift tissue is very pretty. It almost reminds me of the one I bought in the spring. Okay, so there are a few options here, and this is going to go really fast because there's 16 pieces, and they're really nice prints. Let it all I hope you enjoyed walking through Dollar Tree with me today, and I just want to say thank you so very much for watching, and until next time, everyone, bye for now. Smoke in my eyes. I can hear the wind chime. It's always been me.